For the following exercises, use the graph of each function to estimate the intervals on which the function is increasing or decreasing. All right. Uh, so this is kind of like one of those topics where if you look in the textbook and you start reading through it and you're like, uh, what exactly are they trying to say? Right. There's letters all over the place. There's greater than or equal to signs. Let's just try to use some easy language to help understand this concept. All right. It's actually very simple. Um, first thing we want to do is kind of understand what increasing means and decreasing. All right. Uh, you already know what this means. You know that increasing means going up. Right. Or in other words, that you're going to start low with something and end high with that same something. For example, look at a bank account. If you start low on your bank account and then your balance ends high, you know that you increased over that period, right? The, the amount of money in your bank account increased. Similarly, with the term decreasing, obviously that means coming down. And again, we can think about it as starting high and ending low, right? If you started with a lot of money in your bank account and then you ended with a little bit of money in your bank account, you know it has gone down, all right? Now, Basically, that's all we need to do in order to identify increasing and decreasing, okay? With one little uh, addition. The, the extra addition, how we want to start this out when I look at this graph over here, is I want to first find any what they call maxima or minima. Basically, all this means is the top of the hill or the bottom of a particular hill, aka like a valley, right? When I look at this graph, I notice I have a little valley right here, okay? This is like the bottom of the hill, okay? So... What I'm going to do is identify that particular point and then draw a vertical line straight on down through that point. What this helps me do is it helps me break up the graph into the important parts. So for this particular graph, there are two important parts, one to the left side of that line and the second will be to the right side of that line. All right, we're going to look at each part independently. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight the left handed side of this graph. All right, with a little arrow. This arrow simply means that it will continue, right? The graph will continue on forever in that particular direction. All right. So now what I want to do is I'm going to read this side of the graph from left to right, meaning that this is the leftmost handed side of frame number one. And then this point here is the rightmost side of that first frame, right? Now, you can simply look at it this way. If you're gonna start here and end here, it looks like we are going down, right? In other words, if you start high and end low, you are decreasing, right? And that's exactly what we had described over here with the term decreasing. So now you know over this particular interval here, we are, or the graph is not we, I mean the graph, is decreasing, okay? Now, how do we write that? Well, we simply write it this way. It's going to be decreasing over the interval now. Now, remember, this thing goes out on forever, okay? And in terms of the x values, remember we're, when we're determining increasing and decreasing in the intervals, we're really concerned with the x, right? The intervals over x, the independent variable. And what we realize is that this graph will continue on forever in that negative x direction, right? So it basically goes all the way to negative infinity. The graph will be decreasing over the interval from negative infinity all the way to this particular point that we uh, identified before, right? That little valley there. Now, it's not going to, we're not, we're, so it goes all the way to x is one, but it's not really inclusive of one, meaning we're not gonna use the bracket, we're gonna use the parentheses. Why is that the case? Well, because this point kind of represents the point of where it changes from decreasing to this side and then, oh, spoiler alert, increasing on the other side, all right? So that point really isn't involved in either one, so we really don't include it that way, all right? So we, we use the parentheses. Now, for the second part, I already spoiled it for you. I'm sure you're very upset with that. And now what we're gonna do is look at this. So we're gonna start, we're gonna read this side again from left to right. For this partition, that is the leftmost side of this part uh, graph. And this will now be the rightmost side of the graph. We're starting low, ending high. Sounds like we're increasing to me. So this side will be increasing, all right? And what's the interval? Well, we're starting at, again, x is one, but it's not gonna include one. And it's gonna go all the way on out, right? This graph continues on forever, 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 until all eternity. And so does this x coordinate, right? Or the x value of all of those points. So it goes all the way out 
to not alpha, but infinity. There we go. Sorry, doing physics at the same time, all these variables, they start looking very similar. Not variables, but all these symbols. So uh, there you go. Very simple, right? Now let's take a look at the second one and let's do some speed math now, right? Let's see how fast we can do it. So first thing, identify the hills and the valleys or the tops and bottoms of the hill. We got one here, one here. Simply draw your vertical line through each. Now that helps me break up the graph into three important parts in this problem now for this graph. So we analyze each part independently, right? So we have this first part here that I'm gonna highlight. Let me highlight that in blue, all right? Oh, let me just erase that. Let me highlight that in blue. So here we have this, right? Little piece. And start on the leftmost handed side of that part and go all the way to the rightmost handed side. Starting low, ending high. Sounds like we're increasing, right? So this is an increasing interval. Let's just label it increasing for now and then we'll label the points. Uh, for the middle point, or for the middle part, I should say. Right here we are now, I highlighted in red. Okay, what are we doing? Well, we have to identify the start, the leftmost handed side. So it's gonna be right here. And the rightmost handed side of that part is gonna be there. Looks like we're starting high, ending low. Sounds like it's decreasing to me. Great, last but not least, right? We're dealing with this third side. And now for the third side, uh, we are now starting the leftmost handed side of that is going to be starting there and then ending there. Looks like we're starting low, ending high. Sounds like we're increasing again. All right, so notice that this particular graph has two increasing locations, uh, two increasing intervals and one decreasing interval. So since this graph has two increasing intervals, I can kind of combine them together when I give the answer, right? And how I'm going to do that is simply write it, I'll write it up here on the top, all right? So this particular graph is going to be increasing on the intervals, right? The leftmost handed side over here is negative infinity. And it goes all the way up to, it looks like about, this looks like about two and a half, right? The X value, negative two and a half, that is negative 2.5. All right. And not inclusive of that point, remember. And we also have a second part. So we're going to have a union symbol. This means, you know, and basically. Uh, so the increasing intervals are going to be either here, it's really or, but it's going to be here or on the next uh, interval that I'm going to give. So it looks like the x value begins at 1 for that second increasing interval. Now remember, it doesn't actually include 1, that's why I have the bracket there. And then it goes all the way to positive infinity, right in that x direction. Okay, so now that takes care of that. And then the decreasing part... It's just gonna be the interval right here in the middle as we described, right? It begins at about, as we said, x is gonna be two point, negative 2.5, 2.5, that's negative. And then it goes to about x is one. Remember, it doesn't include it. So these will be the intervals uh, for this particular graph, all right? Now, last but not least, I did say we were gonna go through it quickly, but I explained a little more in detail, but this one now we're gonna go through very quickly. Ready? Bottom of the hill. Top of the hill, draw the vertical lines. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. And let's draw them a little neater. And that's close enough. So now I have three important points, right? I'll write them down here. One, two, and then three. All right, here on this side, we are starting high and we're ending low. So this is gonna be a decreasing section. In the middle, we're starting low ending high. So that sounds like it's an increasing section to me. So I'll put a little I there. And then last but not least, we're starting high, ending low. It sounds like that's a decreasing part, right? So we have two decreasing intervals, one increasing interval. So let's label the decreasings first. So decreasing here is going to be all the way from negative infinity, right? Up until about the X value here is about, it looks like negative 1.5, not inclusive. Or the other interval in which this graph is decreasing is right around x is 2, all the way to then positive infinity. So that's the decreasing interval. Last but not least, we'll write the increasing interval. Sorry, I'm running out of space. But there's only one, so I should be able to put it in there. It looks like we're beginning again right around negative 1.5. And we're going all the way until uh, about x is 2. And there you go. Voila. All right. Hopefully this helped, guys. Um, fairly straightforward. Just you know, it, it's really not that. It's really not that bad. 
Uh, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe, help us out, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.